Hello and welcome to Bitfumes. This is Swellchase tutorial with me, your host Sartha. Now let's roll out the recap. So what if I move my mouse over this input field? It gets focused. What if I enter this, uh, enter inside this text box? It's not submitting. Although this is actually a form. How this is submit prevent default works and what is the use of this function I have created? Everything in this episode. So here I have created the DOM event component dot felt obviously and that is actually implemented inside this app dot felt and you can see we have imported it and I have used it here as a component. Cool. So what we are going to learn, we are going to learn about the DOM event. So here we have the various DOM events and let's see how we can use this in this. Well, cheers. So we have a simple form, we have a sim simple button and a simple input field which says filming. Okay, so when I hit on this submit button, let's see. So it's now actually submitting this form to slash submit, which actually you can see from here. So it says action is this. I need to prevent this submission. So what I can do, I can simply say on click and then I can say handle form. And because we have this now we need to create a script tag inside this I can create a function and the function name is this and grabbing the event so we can just uh, say event dot prevent default and now if I go here and you can see if I click on the submit button it's not submitting this now prevented the form submission what if you don't have this submit button then what happen is when you are inside this text box and you hit enter then also it submit the form but again I need to prevent the submission of the form yes I know you are talking about the on submit but we will talk about that later but here I need to tell you about the DOM event which is key down so again once again let's say form handle form and it's now preventing default action so what's the default action of key down to enter some key that means whatever I enter but you can see I'm typing but nothing is happening hmm this is a weird thing because now I need to just prevent about the enter button not about every other key so what if I press enter so yes you can see we have this enter details here the key but whichever I have pressed so if I press any random key we have the data but the code of enter is actually enter so now I can say in this if e dot code that means event dot code is enter then only prevent default otherwise not. So now removing the console and then if I hit enter you can see nothing is happening even though I am entering but if I type something yes it is working. That's cool that means we have learned about key down event. But this comes very handy if you can use it on the form itself. So you can simply say on form submit that means on submit and then handle form. That's cool. So I don't have to define anything like here and now even if I hit enter it's not working and that means it's not submitting the form but I can press or I can type anything. Hmm, that's cool. But you know we are on a swell JS and we don't have to do this also. So if I remove this prevent default and I will go inside this text box and hit enter, it's actually submitting the form. I don't want to do that. So now directly I can say on submit and with a pipe sign I can do something on its event. So here we have and we can say prevent default action. So now you can see I'm hitting enter but still it's not submitting this form. And the last and the very cool event I'm going to tell you is mouse over. So on mouse over like this what I'm going to do I'm not going to create any function here because now I can define the function inline function I can call it. So I can grab the event and just say console.log of event. So that, that means you can also define some inline statement like this here inside spellchase. So whenever I move my mouse over this text box you can see inside the console we have the event. An event also has the target details that means the 
uh, the input field we have. So if I now say console log of event dot target, and now if I go, you can see we have this input field. And one thing I can do here now, removing this console log like this, I can simply say dot focus. And whenever I move my mouse over this input field, it should get focused. And yeah, you can see I just moved my mouse once again from the right side. Yes, from the upside. Yes, from the left side. So you can see we have manipulated the DOM event as we want with the use of this Svelte JS. So it's very, very cool and very, very efficient to work with the DOM event inside the Svelte JS. So again, what you need to do, you need to just share screenshot on your Twitter and Instagram so that I can reshare your post inside my stories of Instagram and YouTube. So we will meet in the next episode till then. Goodbye.